Green has declared a housing emergency. The proclamation is designed to push through Hawaii's regulatory red tape, but some groups are alarmed. Our Mahea Lani Richardson joins us now with more. Mahea? Well, Steph, Governor Green says it's time to do something as people are priced out of paradise and move away from Hawaii. And he says his emergency proclamation is expected to last a year. Governor Green says it's time to get aggressive on housing as people continue to get priced out of paradise. The state says it has the highest level of regulatory restrictions to development in the U.S. and that it's causing a health and safety crisis. We're waiving some of the restrictions on um, the amount of land that, you know, that historically was, you know, allowable for building because we just want to get going. In his emergency proclamation, the governor is creating a lead housing officer and a working group to streamline the building process and push through bottlenecks. The state would also allow third parties to do the work since many state and county agencies are understaffed. It's a historic moment, you know, and I believe in those kinds of moments. You come to a point in time when you say, this is enough. The Sierra Club would be included in the working group, but its executive director told Hawaii News Now he's worried about environmental and cultural protection laws and the ultimate authority of the lead housing officer. The working group would not be subject to sunshine laws. You know, I'm just like just very disappointed and really alarmed. Um, you know, this this isn't about affordable housing. This isn't about housing our people. Um, if you look at it, there are no baseline affordability requirements. Uh, there are no income limits. The alarm is that we can't find housing for our children. That is the actual alarm. The state says there are 50,000 housing units in the 10-year pipeline across the state. Under an emergency proclamation, another 12,000 could be possible. For those that question whether there's an emergency proclamation, let me just say, Hawaiians are dying out there. Now, as for the mix of housing that this impacts, Green says about 60% would be considered affordable. Mahia Lani Richardson, Hawaii News Now.